Okay, here we go. I just wanted to show you a picture of our Louisiana bullet here. We built it right here in Converse, Louisiana. Uh, when I sent this picture, not this picture, but a picture to uh, Mr. Larry Henry at Chrysler and Mopar Performance, uh, he told me paint it like this and he'd send me an engine and transaxle, and he did, and I appreciate it. But I really wrote Mr. Henry about how we had invented the first pollution-free engine and how I was applying for a federal research grant through a place called NIST at Washington, D.C., right outside of there. And uh, I thought Chrysler, you know, they're famous for their engines. The two most famous words in racing are Chrysler Hemi. And uh, I thought, you know, they're ready for the next level here. But uh, apparently they weren't interested in pollution-free engines and they had spent all their money on the fuel cell, which 25 years later they still haven't uh, been able to make it work or make it economical enough to... Our whole point is we think we can be cheaper than gasoline engines or even electric cars or anything like that. Fuel cell cars for sure, because the fuel is so much different and better, easier to deal with. And, uh, so, uh, you know, I finally gave up on Chrysler, but uh, now I'm trying to get Honda, and uh, Honda's famous for their engines, too. They build some of the world-class engines, uh, you know, uh, they're pound-for-pound, uh, pound, they're uh, high-performance. They've even outdone Ferrari, but, you know, I'm not calling Ferrari. Uh, but you'd think an engine company would be ready for the next level of, you know, and why should we pollute? There's just no point in polluting. It doesn't save us any money. The cars are so loaded down with junk, trying to get rid of, they don't get rid of anything by all this smog control stuff, but, you know, we need to get serious about global warming and air pollution, and the car companies need to step up here, and uh, I'm putting this video out just to bring your attention to this, so. Thanks for watching, and wait till you see my next car, it's going to be even cooler.